I wanted to talk about Buccaneers starting cornerback Jamel Dean in this video today because the dude has been having a fantastic year for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this season. And I know that isn't a new opinion, and it is actually a pretty popular take among both fan circles and media circles alike, but you know, I wanted to make this video today spotlighting Jamel Dean because I feel like he really does deserve it. Jamel Dean has been awesome this year, and he is on a contract year. After this season, his rookie deal is going to be up. And, you know, fingers crossed, he can re-sign with the Buccaneers, but Dean is definitely making himself some money, be it with the Buccaneers themselves or possibly even with other teams in free agency. And look, it goes deeper than just his, you know, cookie, not cookie cutter, but his surface level stats, right? It goes deeper than that. But just to take a quick look at it, Jamel Dean does lead the team in interceptions with two. He does lead the team in pass deflections with six total passes defended. And he is second on the team in tackles for all secondary members with 45. He has the most for all cornerbacks, and he is second in the secondary behind only Mike Edwards. But if you even look at the deeper stats for Jamel Dean, it gets even better. In terms of completion percentage allowed on targets, Jamel Dean is only allowing a 55.6 completion percentage when thrown his way. That is good enough for third on the team behind Logan Ryan, who has only played in four total games this year, and Antoine Winfield Jr., who has only played in eight total games this year. And Jamel Dean is also only allowing a grand total of, let me see if I can find it, hold on just a moment, a 9.5 yards per reception allowed, which is the best out of any member in the secondary this year in terms of starting snaps. So overall, Dean has been doing a Really, really excellent job in terms of yards per target as well. Um, you know, receiving yards per time targeted. Dean is at 5.3, which is the lowest amount for all secondary members in the Buccaneers defense as well. And he's also allowing a passer rating of 66.7, which is the second best on the team when targeted. Only player who is better is Logan Ryan with a 60 point. Eight. So, folks, any way you look at it, right, if you look at it on surface level stats, if you look at it on advanced stats, Jamel Dean is playing some really, really good football, and he has been the best cornerback the Buccaneers have had this year. And I think the most important aspect that a lot of people haven't been talking about too, too much is the overall health of Jamel Dean. The dude has been healthy throughout the entirety of this year. He has not missed a game. And in situations where we've seen guys like Carlton Davis miss a couple of games and some other guys like maybe Sean Murphy Bunting misses a game here or there, it is really good to have the consistency of Jamel Dean. It is something that we have not seen from Dean throughout the entirety of his young career. He has missed games and I believe pretty much every single season he has played in his career. Yes, he has missed some amount of games in every single season he has played since he has joined the NFL. So it's very refreshing. It's very encouraging to see Dean be able to play a full season so far up to this point and not have to deal with nagging injuries. And it really does showcase that, yeah, when Dean is fully healthy and he is able to play, you know, full games as a starting cornerback, he is one of the best, if not even possibly the best cornerback on this team. And that is Certainly me saying something, because I'm a huge fan of Carlton Davis, but even I've got to say, hey, look, Jamel Dean is on it when he is fully healthy, and we are seeing that this year, much like what we've seen in past years. Jamel Dean playing good isn't necessarily new. Jamel Dean had 17 pass deflections in 2019 in his rookie year. He had nine last year as well. Again, the biggest thing, thing with Dean has been his overall health, which can affect his play and have him miss some games. But this year, Dean has been healthy. He has looked absolutely fantastic. And again, I think he is really making himself a lot of money, again, be it either with the Bucks, hopefully, or possibly with some other teams in the NFL as well. And I just wanted to go ahead and give him this spotlight type of video to really showcase that, yeah, Jamal Dean is playing really, really good this year, and he is a huge boost 
to the Buccaneers defense. And I have a couple more videos coming out like this as well, talking about some other players, both on defense and on some other position groups on the team as well. So stay tuned for those as well. But yeah, thank you know, congratulations to Jamel Dean on having such an excellent year. Hopefully he continues this phenomenal amount of momentum that he has built for himself. What do you guys think about Jamel Dean in the year that he has had so far? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. I would love to hear them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.